Hey guys, I'm about to go to bed. I'm in my jammies, um, but I figured I would do um, a video for you guys before I um, go to bed. So tonight I wanted to do my um, Cartier collection. I only have three, so I don't know that I would really call it a collection, um, but it's my Cartier perfumes. Um, these are wonderful. I feel like they're not talked about um, as much as they should be. They're just, they're so lovely. Anyway, the first one um, that I have is just the Basil Vo Baser Volet, which means, oh goodness, what does it mean? It means like stolen kiss or something like that. Um, this is this is based on the lily flower, which I love the lily flower. So it says the fragrance of a majestic yet elusive flower, the lily, is recreated for the first time from the freshness of the leaf, the floral scent of the petal, and the powdery fragrance of the stamen. For this perfume, I wanted to recreate the scent of bundles of flowers on the neck. That's what the perfumer said, and I would agree with that. It smells green like the stems and then the floral of the lily. This is a really bright fragrance. It's 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 beautiful. Like when I first smelled this, I literally got like I was like <gasps> like cuz it's just such a happy beautiful it's floral. It's great in the summer. It's great in the fall. I don't know that I would wear this in the winter, but it's a beautiful lily fragrance. It is definitely a one flower fragrance, which I really like. I don't, I like being able to know what I'm smelling, but very, very, very girly, very feminine. There's really not, again, there's really not a lot not to like about this. The other cool thing is it has this lid that's like a cigarette lighter. So, it's very cool. So, there was a flanker of this that I also got, which I love, I think, maybe more than the original Baser Volé. Um... I don't know. I, this one is definitely stronger. So this is a perfume and this is a toilet. This is called um, Baser Volet Lys Rose. So this is basically the same um, perfume as this. It's, it's Lily. But this they've added raspberry and they've made it a little bit fresher. Um, it's a toilet version. Um, it, you can definitely smell the raspberry in this, definitely. For anybody that likes raspberries and lily flower, the Liss Rose, you're going to love, love, love. It's a little more watery. It's just beautiful. I think that this one might, because I can't even, I can't find it on their website, I think this one officially might have been um, discontinued. This this Baser Volet is, is more green than I remember. It's beautiful. Um, this, though, is available on all the fragrance um, warehouse website websites. But if you want this, I would go ahead and get it because I'm pretty sure it's been discontinued. Um, it has the same lighter... Um, top which is really really cool um but yeah these are both beautiful they used to have and I'm really sad because I never got to smell it they have a vanilla version of this um it was a flanker and apparently it was like the most beautiful perfume you'd ever smelled that's what I've heard from so many reviewers um and I'm sad I can't find it and I don't see it anywhere I, might, I could check eBay but apparently it was like kind of like the lily flower and then some vanilla. 
which I imagine would be just absolutely beyond gorgeous. Um, the other um, perfume that I have from Cartier that I love is La Panthere. This is a completely different fragrance than these. These are like the younger sisters and this is like the sexy, sassy aunt that's gonna come in and tell them what to do. <laughs> this is a, um, I think the reason it's called La Panthere is it's described as a, um, a feline, okay, every woman has a feline side and every flower has a hidden animal essence. Um, she, uh, the perfumer offers a unique new accord combining a flower and a sensation, a feline floral fragrance. Um, radiant gardenia, sensual yet delicate, for an animal touch she created a soft velvety musk. Um, and within the internal sculpture depicts the majestic panther. So you're supposed to, that I guess here is the panther. This is a beautiful, beautiful floral fra floral musk fragrance. This is a floral mask done really, really well. It's thick and syrupy, but it definitely has the animal musk that gives it like a, it's, it's I, I like what she said about the velvety, uh, what did she say about the, the musk, um, vel soft velvety musk. That's what it is because it's not a harsh musk. It's um, it's where they've blended it so well that you don't really know it's musk, but, so, but you're getting the like, you're getting the payoff of the musky, like what the musk brings out in you and the smell, but it doesn't really smell like musk. It, it mostly smells like florals, like I see the gardenia. To me, it smells a little like orange flower, but I don't see that in here. Um, it looks like it's mostly gardenia. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. And I will tell you, I've worn this. Um, it lasts forever, the perfume. I think there's a toilet of this that came out a little bit more recently, but oh my goodness, this is like... Um, this would be a great gift because truly it is just a beautiful feminine floral fragrance that there's just nothing not to like about it. It's very pretty. The only thing I don't like about this bottle is the sprayers kind of, it sprays out in like a line. Do you see what that did? It's like, I don't know, like it, the sprayer is weird because you just push on this thing and the little the little thing is tiny and it just it seems like it comes out in like a spray like a single line spray and I've noticed that even when I use it you have to kind of like take your fingers and like really make sure it's going your two fingers are going down at the exact same time but I don't care I would it doesn't matter because it smells it smells so good so these are my um, I feel like these are a little underrated I don't hear about them that much um, I feel like maybe people think that they're for the more mature woman um, but um, I disagree I think that any these actually smell very youthful um, and young and girly and they're just fun and beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stop by. Um, they have these a lot of times at, you know, just your local department store that you can test them out. I think that you're going to be surprised when you smell these. It, it's just, it's a beautiful fragrance. So quality fragrance as well. They're made well. They're made to last, to, to develop well in the skin. And um, they're just beautiful. So hope you enjoyed my reviews. Thank you.